okay so just to show how to sort of connect this up so what we've actually got we've got a base plate here and that actually connects onto the back of the nest so it's just a matter of lining this up and then plugging it in if you're going to wall mount this you get this plate in the actual packaging so you'd probably have to drill a hole somewhere at the back feed this through the actual power cable the mini usb cable plug this in and then you can push that on so let me show that initially so i'll push this through um, let's get it the right way around so that looks like the correct way of doing it like so and then the nest can just push straight onto it like so and then that can just be pushed onto this so let's take off the sticker here and the way to operate this is literally turning via this to get your selection and then there's a button there and if you click that that gives you your selection so let me go back that's what you're initially presented with when you go into the system let me give a bit more of a zoom on the camera yeah so obviously these are the different languages on there if I select English UK and it asks to confirm the selection and then internet connection so we want to connect to the internet so I'll do that so I'll pick my Wi-Fi so I'll pick that one and then I can just type in my Wi-Fi password by spinning this around and if I wanted to go for capitals I can click there and it will give capitals I click it again give numeric values and different symbols more symbols here and then different characters and you go back to lowercase characters so let me do that off camera okay I've typed in the Wi-Fi password and it's connecting right now to the internet okay so the thermostat is online as it's confirmed we'll click it's checking for update software update software is up to date on the thermostat so no need so location okay so for weather forecast you put your actual location in is your thermostat located in the UK yes to that the way to select your postcode you literally just spin this around pick your letter click and then move on to the next character and I'll do this right now off camera okay once I've put in my postcode it's give it, it's asking for this is it a single family multi-family apartment flat or business so I'll go for single family where is your thermostat so I'm gonna put it actually in the living room so let me select that okay now the next option is equipment so let me click on that so want to add your contact information into your nest product ID okay we'll skip that for now heat link connected wirelessly continue so it's connected now to the heat link okay type of system is a combi boiler that I have that's the other options just click there okay heating uh, control on and off sources gas radiators it's just standard okay your system combi boiler heat with on off continue okay temperature choose your eco temperature so if I click on there can I go okay you can go lower as well it's fine I'll go for the default which is 9 degrees Celsius system test so let me go over to the boiler and I'll run the test next to the boiler so you can see it connecting okay so we're at our boiler now and we've got a systems test here so if I click that nest is now configured for your system continue 
The system is ready to test. Test now. Do you, what do you want to test? Heating. Go for that. Okay, should be warming up. Let's just click done for that. Um, Nest app. Yes, we'll do that later. Finish. Okay, so let me turn the heat up. Okay, so I'll just show the front of the boiler. There's no activity. If I turn the temperature up, color changes to orange and the heating's turned on. Let's give it a moment for it to kick in. Okay, there you go. It's flashing away just there. And you can see the gas turning on, so it is heating up now. So excellent. That sort of proved it's working now. If I turn it down slowly. There you go, it's turned off now. So there you go, that's proved it's working. Next thing is, let me show you around the actual Nest thermostat and show how to use it. Okay, so we've confirmed the Nest is operational now and it's turning the boiler on and off to heat. Now, just to show you around the actual nest itself, so on this display, on the dial, you can see 23 and a half, and that's the actual room temperature at the moment. Now, the temperature in the middle is what we wanna aim to maintain. So if it drops below 21 and a half, the heating will kick in and it will start warming up. So that's that. If I click the button, it'll go to this display and that shows the current outside temperature depending on your location that you've entered in. It shows the day, the time, the inside house temperature and the humidity. So that's that. Let's click along. So thermostat, press to change. So you could, I don't know how clear that's being shown. So at the moment it's on heat, eco or off, so you can actually turn off the system quite easily. But we'll leave it on that. Okay. Then we ha have um, energy usage, so you can go in there and you can see what your usage is. Okay. Then you've got a schedule. For this, you can set 24 seven sort of timer. You know, when you want it at certain temperatures, when you want it to drop. So if I click there, you can add in a new one, for example. Let's cancel that. Let's go for Sunday around eight and we'll go new. And then you can set the temperature like that. That's quite cool. So you can say you want it on at that time and then if I go here do new you just say around there half an hour later I want it to drop to that so I don't really want it to heat up so that's quite quite cool so that's for seven days a week so that's quite flexible there okay let's cancel out of this Okay, go to there, back to that one. So, schedule, energy usage, thermostat, and the only one left is settings. So that's quite straightforward. You can lock it, so you can avoid people messing around with it. Uh, then you've got a uh, eco minimum temperature. Obviously we set that at nine, you can change that if you wanted to. Uh, home away assist. Automatically use eco temperature when no one is at home. So that's quite clever. Nest sense. Auto schedule. Time to temperature. to true radiant sunblock. Okay. Brightness of the nest. It's high at the moment. So it's auto, low, medium, high. Let's keep it on auto. 
Display far sight target temperature. What should the display show? So that's quite cool. So you could have it as just an analog clock or a digital clock or target temperature, what you want to show. That's quite cool. We'll, we may just leave it on like a digital clock. But this is fine for now. So showing the target temperature. And this is quite good. Don't use far sight, wake on approach, wake on pressing. So that's quite good. So as you come close to it, it will start displaying something, you know, like the temperature. Um, or you could have it if you press it, it shows the temperature or the time. But I quite like the fact that when you walk up to it, it just automatically shows some info. So that's quite cool. Okay. Click sound. If it annoys you doing this, you know, you're hearing the sound, you can turn that off. Okay. You can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Change the location. Let's change the network side, language, date, time, equipment, all stuff we've already configured. And there's a reset, so a factory reset. Okay, so that's the actual Nest. Really cool, easily usable, real solid feel to it, which is nice. So let's move on to showing how the, net, um, the actual app is set up. Okay, so I'm on my Android device now. I've typed in Nest and let's install. So that's the one you want to install on there. Okay, so the app's now installed. Let's open it up. And so the first thing you want to do is sign up to it. So let me do that offline and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I've signed in and first thing I'm seeing, do you want to use your phone's location for home away assist? So this is quite cool. So if you're away, it can power it down and if you're close by, it can power it up. I'm going to say not now for this one. Um, so I want to do add. it. So you want to add the nest in without scanning. So what I'm adding in is a thermostat. So if I do next to that, store your thermostat and then it will ask for a key. So this is how you link the product to get to it. So finding the key. So if I go back to the actual nest go to settings and we move along let me see if I can find the option nest app so if I do that get entry key and then it will appear with the actual key for it and I just type that into there and then that will link the devices together so let me do that off camera Okay, there you go. I've added in the key and now it's linked it. So that's quite good. So now remotely I should be able to access it. If I go like that, there you go. It's showing the current temperature as being 24. Obviously I've got to leave it um, alone for a little while to adjust correctly. Obviously because it's close to me, uh, heat in the room or whatever, it's not really reporting accurately. Um, but once you leave it for a while, it should be fine. Um, this is what the temperature has been set to on the thermostat. So if it gets below that, obviously, um, it will kick in. So very similar to the device, actually, which is quite cool seeing this. You can adjust it like so. Let's see. Inside humidity is 43 degrees. Outside temperature, 3 degrees. All the options are similar to what you see on the actual nest itself so if I go back into it mode just click on that heat or off so you can turn the thermostat permanently off if you want to eco mode so obviously it will try and sense when no one's around and power itself um, to a lower temperature so it doesn't keep heating the house schedule obviously as I've already shown I do like this part of it it's just nice and easy to use. So if I click on a day, Monday, for example, I'll say if I wake up, uh, let's put add, say just around there. And if I click, I can turn the temperature down. So I want it around, say, 20, 21 degrees. 
and I can move that along so I want it to start around that time and then I think after an hour I can say I can say I want to just turn it down slightly because I don't need it so warm in the morning one thing I didn't like is the time between the two because sometimes um, I actually like the heater being on just for say 20 minutes don't need it on that long for a full hour so obviously I'd have to turn the thermostat to accommodate that but the minimum time between uh, changing the temperature is an hour so it's okay I guess I would have preferred um, to go even closer you know even a 15 minute in interval you know even a little burst of heat is quite cool and the other thing you can do say in the evening um, I can say around say 11 o'clock I want the temperature to drop down to 16 you know the thermostat so it doesn't warm the house in the evenings so simple as that so during the daytime it will try and maintain about 19 degrees and then in the evening uh, by 11 o'clock the thermostat will adjust to 16 and that's it it won't warm up in the evening so so there, there you go that's quite easy to use quite impressed with that let's go back okay uh, history obviously I have been using this I've done a factory reset just to be able to show on the video but this is quite nice you can see your actual energy usage during the day so for Saturday this is what I had going on it turned on a few times in the evening um, just some playing around really you know just trying to get my head around how to best utilize this really so hence why it turned on the evening and it was what I found it's best to just turn it down quite a bit so it doesn't go on on these hours but yeah it does work quite well and obviously you've got a record of the times it's turning on so really cool okay let's get in focus so the next thing to show if I go here and I turn off the Wi-Fi okay click on that and now it's connecting wirelessly over the internet so if I now let's turn up the temperature if I go like that how cool is that hey okay. without opening any ports on the system on my actual router remotely it's now turn the heating on and this is one of the main functionalities I was after with this so when I was approaching home or I'm going to be late home I can actually set the heating to come on so it's um, nice and warm just before I get get home okay so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe